Hi everyone, this is Carolina here, and today I want to show you how to create an attendance uh, sheet using Google Form. And uh, this has been really helpful for me because it really saves time when it comes to taking attendance in class. And I'm going to show you how. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I'm struggling right now is being at school and also kids being remote. Um, it takes a long time for me to take attendance and some of my classes are bigger than others. So um, the ones where it's a really big class, it, um, it takes like a good eight minutes, uh, especially once, you know, waiting for kids to unmute themselves and for them to tell you that they're there, um, whether they're remote or um, some of them might be in another classes when I'm teaching uh, and they're in person. So this has really helped and I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and create a Google form. So you're going to go here. Google form, create. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name the form. I'm just going to put... Okay. And the same thing here. Oh, Apple Club. Perfect. All right. So the first question you want it to be just a short answer and just write name. And then I'm going to make sure that I make this required. So they can uh, continue unless they um, or submit it unless they do it. Then I'm just gonna duplicate that and write last name. Okay. And then the next thing I want to add, I'm going to do a drop down uh, menu, and you could also do just like multiple choice, but I like the drop down menu um, to add uh, what class. class. So it's my first period, or however you have your classes divided. And just to give you an example, I'll just do um, okay. And I'm just gonna make one more here. I actually don't need it to be this. Um, and here, actually, I'm also gonna do drop down, but I'm going to ask whether they're remote. Um, or they're in person. And then I'm just going to say, how are you attending class today? And then the last thing um, I want to add um, is a date oh so i know what date they're attending um what date are you attending class okay and then that's it okay so as you can see just like very simple name you also don't want this to be too long um they can tell me what period um, how are they attending remote or in person and what date? Okay, so once this is when you finish here, um, you can look to see here how it looks for the students. But here again, I'll just show you. So this button over here, and it'll show you how it's going to show up. So if I was a student, I would just say student one. Uh, so they can choose period, say so I'm remote, and I just put today, and I just submit. Now, when you go to your, um, go back to your sheet, you will see here that there's one response, and it looks like this, and you can look through here. Um, but you want to actually go to the spreadsheet to check all of your students' attendance. Um, and I'm in here in a, a sample before just to show you what it looks like. So when you, if you do it here, you will hit this and you would press create and it'll create the spreadsheet for you. 
So once it does that, and this is the part that I think is really cool. So here you'll have a list of the students that, um, you know, wrote their name, their name, last name, uh, period, and um, how they attend the class. Uh, so remote or in person, oh, I forgot to change this here, it's fine. Um, and then here, the day that they attended. Now, what's really cool, um, one thing that I was worried about is, is students that weren't there, they could still uh, access the attendance sheet um, and then do it while they're not in class um, at a different time. Um, this actually is a timestamp. So this will show me exactly what time they um, did their attendance. We'll help keep track, again, if a student didn't attend class and try to do it later, um, you'll know. Now, another cool thing for you to check here, now when I'm taking attendance and just kind of checking here and going through these, now you'll see here the first one's remote, the next one's in person. If I just want to view, and again, there are different periods, if I want to view just one period, you can do that. And the way you do that is you are going to press in the corner here to highlight everything. And then you're going to go to this icon here, this create filter. And you're going to press that. And this is going to show up here. Now, what's cool about this, um, hold on a second. What's cool about this is that I can click on in here. So let's say I just want to see the first period. I click that and it's only going to show me the first period students. Um, and now if I want to see the first period students and only who is remote, it'll show me student one is in first period is remote. Um, and then again, let's say I want to see all the periods, but I just want to see the remote kids. Again, you can filter this, which is so, so cool. Um, so again, this is something I think that's really helpful. It has helped me a lot um, the last few days. Um, taking attendance. Um, and what I'll do is I'll have them do the sheet and I'll remind them. And if I'm going to assume, I'll send the link in the chat as well, as well as show them in uh, the system that we use. We use Canvas. I posted the link there as well. Um, and then once they're done, uh, sometimes while the kids are working um, on something during class, and I'll go back and look at the sheet and then enter this in the system that we have at school. Uh, but again, it's a way to save time uh, just because it takes so long <laughs> to take attendance, especially if you have a big class. All right. So um, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Um, I know it helps. It's been helping me a lot. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe this video if uh, it helped you. And I will see you guys next time.